In this video, we will see direct input method and the LSMW method. So let us look at what exactly direct input method is. So these are standard SAP programs that are used to transfer the file that is from flat file to the SAP system itself. So direct method, it, it is used generally to transfer the bulk amount of data into the SAP system. So there are number of function modules that are used to di directly transfer the data into the database of SAP. So these function modules also make relevant checks to avoid any kind of error that occurs during the data transfer. So if any error also occurs, then error is fixed with the help of restart mechanism. So however, to activate this mechanism, the direct input programs must be activated in the background itself. So let us see some of the limitations that are being used that, are, that comes in the case of direct input method. The file structure should be created as per the structure of the standard internal table that has been created. So this, this file structure, uh, structure should be same as that of internal table that we are ma making use in the standard programs. So here we also can't catch all the types of error that occurs since uh, it works directly on the open SQL statements whereas the call transaction and session method uses the screen level processing where we can catch all the types of errors. Now let us look at the LSMW tool. So LSMW tool, it is a provided by SAP to transfer the data from the legacy system into SAP. So the, here in this case, we are making use of very less amount of data. So LSMW tool was mainly designed for the functional consultants who doesn't know much about programming. So here there are four methods available in LSMW that is direct input method, recording method, BAPI method and ALE IDOCS. So in the next video, we will see more about enhancement in SAP.